Hello, Carla. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Enjoying the weather. The water is raining? Uh, no weather. Oh, the weather. Yes. Good evening. Hey, Gio, what's up? What's up? How's it going? I'm okay, thank you. Cool. Hey, Gio, do you like Marduk? Yes. Man, they're heavy. Yes. I have the opportunity to to share stage with, with them. Oh, you did? You, your band opened up for them? Yeah. Then Is it true that the singer killed a priest or something? Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Never heard about that. He, well, I don't know something about that. But man, they, when you, I, I was uh, at, at the side of the drummer, man, you feel like, like, uh, I don't know what to say, man. Awesome, the, the, the sound, the blast beat you feel inside your chest, man. <laughs> they're, they're very fast, right? Yeah, like a machine, man. Marduk. Yeah. I have a friend that likes him and he said, listen to this. This is the hardest band right now. It was cool. Did you like the song Heroin? Wow, man. It's that crazy, huh? Funny. Yeah. Man, th th there was a moment that, that I feel a little, I don't know, man. <laughs> it start to breathe <laughs> a little fast. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it was I yeah, I always listen to that song like, wow, it's crazy. Yeah. The, the heartbeat, the drum part, uh -huh. and it starts getting faster, faster. It's, it's a good song. A little anxious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Nelson, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, teacher. All right. What music do you like, Nelson? I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm drinking my tea. Uh -huh. Um uh, sorry, I, I don't I don't listen. I don't hear you your question. Oh what music do you like? Uh um I like uh, uh pop rock um rock in, in Spanish <laughs> or okay. yeah but I don't like uh some I don't I don't remember is genres or generous? Genres. Genres. I don't like some genres, for example, reggaeton, uh, ranchera, um, um, but uh, for example uh, uh, the cumbias I like but in only in, in Christmas season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, in another, uh, in other time, uh, I don't like uh, some some read. I only like lancheras like Saturday, like at three in the morning. <laughs> For example, it's a good moment. <laughs> it depends with with who. <laughs> yeah, it depends with who. All right. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Valentina. Hello, Ruth. Hi, teacher. Hi, How teacher. Are <laughs> How are you? Fine, and you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Wow, it's Wednesday today. What? It's Wednesday already. Yes. No, Tuesday. No, Tuesday, yeah. Oh, man, it's Tuesday, Tuesday. it's true. Oh, okay, I'm pussy. It's normal then. I I I I feel like wow, it's Wednesday. It's yeah. fast. Yeah. Oh man, now I'm going to feel the the week long. <laughs> hey, no. yeah. If I, I have a question uh, about a question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about the the number three from the second 
no, no, the first, the, the third question of the first part and the third question of the third part. Of uh, the reading? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not the reading. Um, let me, let me see. On the knowledge check. You are mute, uh, you. Ah, somebody wrote about that too. I get the, the same the same question wrong. In which one? In one point eight? One point one point two, the number four. Uh number three. Oh, I got that one wrong too. It still hasn't been fixed. Tina, you visit your parents on the weekend, don't you? Yes, I spent Sundays with them. I'm too busy the rest of the week. Leslie preferred to spend Sunday. I tried Sundays. I tried weekends. Yeah. I tried um, so many ways and always get going. Yes. And um, I asked for it, but on Wednesday, I think we'll have the meeting to see what, what's going on here and why. Um, let me see the the number number three of one point eight two. Uh, the bad part about being away at college is is that I miss my family. Yeah, I always get go on. I got I got that one right. The bad part of being of being yes. A way is that I miss my family. Of being, let me see. Of being. I get going. Being the bad part of being away at college is that I miss my family. Yeah. <clears throat> the bad, no, just put the bad part of being away uh -huh. is that I miss my family. Ah. Uh, Is that I miss my family? Oh man. Yeah, that's right. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Although, you know, I mean, I think college should have been there. Mm. But. Yeah. Thank you, Regan. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um, Let me see one thing here. So, yesterday we did the reading about the big family with the 30 children, remember? Remember, uh, yeah, uh, Gio wasn't here yesterday, but we did a reading about Anne. She has like 30 adoptive children. Yes. Do you remember that, Michelle? Yes. Okay, so remember what uh, number one it says what reason does Anne Bell mm -hmm. give? for adopting so many children? It's um, after watching the musical Oliver. After watching the musical Oliver, good. Have you seen that, Oliver Twist? No. Yes. Yeah, it's good, it's a classic. Oh, orphan. Yeah, I like that name, Oliver. All right. Okay, number two says, what's special about the children that Belle and her husband adopt? They have a special needs. Second. The second one. Yeah, they have special needs. What are the total monthly expenses for this family? Over 27,000. Yes. Over twenty-seven thousand dollars a month. That's a lot.
Okay, uh, we're going to start lesson two. It says, um, by the end of this session, participants will be able to practice using past modals um, and phrasal modals. Do you remember, can you give me an example of a past modal? Should have. Yes. It's like, man, I should have said no. Or I should have bought it. Hmm. Okay, um, we're going to watch the video and pay attention to the past models. We're going to practice that. He was supposed to graduate last year. Can you hear? Should have suggested that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggested that the action was not advisable, but was done. He should have learned English before. Needed? Did they need to? Suggest that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not. She needed to exercise. Didn't have to means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Models and phrasal models of obligation. And stay and watch the explanation. I'm sorry, we're going to repeat because I don't know why it skipped so much. Hi, we're about to study past models and phrasal models of obligation. And stay and watch the explanation. Past models and phrasal models of obligation. Should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to all describe obligations in the past although they sometimes have different uses. I should have stayed home and studied. It was a good idea, but I didn't do it. I was supposed to be studying this weekend. It was required, but I didn't do it. I had to wear a uniform. We were forced to do this. I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. There was no obligation. I thought I needed to have more clothes. I thought this was necessary. Past models and phrasal models. Should have is followed by a past participle, whereas was, were, supposed to, had to, didn't have to, I needed to, are followed by the simple form of the verb. Had to describes strong obligation in the past and suggest there was no choice. I had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. He was supposed to graduate last year. Should have suggest that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggests that the action was not advisable, but was done. He should have learned English before. Needed? Did they need to? Suggest that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not. She needed to exercise. Didn't have to means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Then compare your answers in class with a partner. But I didn't do it. Let's do this. I was supposed to be studying. I should have stayed home and. I should have. Okay, it says here, I should have, and it was a good idea, but I didn't do it. Um, can you give me an example with I should have in one? Maybe uh, I should have learned English, but I don't have the, the efficient tools. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, uh, I don't have the tools to do it. Yes, but okay. So in this case, in this case, um, remember it. When you say I should have, it's a the definition here is a good idea, but I didn't do it. So you don't really have to give an explanation, because you can just say like, uh -huh. "Man, I should have studied English in high school." That's it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. There, you're saying you didn't. <laughs> you know. Okay. Like, man, I should have said no when the priest asked me. <laughs> Example. So that means, yes, I did get married. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have I was supposed to. If something was required, but I didn't do it. Yes. Okay, so I have a barbecue in my house. Everybody was supposed to bring something. Who was supposed to bring the, the ice? That always happens. Always. <laughs> you see, you only had one obligation, man. Bring ice and you forget. Who was supposed to bring the ice? Oh, man, I was supposed to bring the ice. So right there, you're saying you did it. Correct? Yeah. Yes or no, that happens in a party, man. Hey, you were supposed to bring the ice. Yes. <laughs> okay, next it says, I had to, uh, something you were forced to do. Can you tell me something that you were forced to do, Ruth? And remember, when you say forced, don't think something dramatically bad. Just something that you had to do and you didn't want to. Can you give me an example, Ruth? Mm. About you. Something you had, know. something like, like for example, when you were a little girl, you had to clean the dishes or, or wash the dishes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can say that, you know, like, how come my brother doesn't wash them? You know. Hmm. <laughs> so can you give me an example of something you had to do? I, sometimes, in fact, I, I should, I should to practice my English. No, but right now we're saying I had to. Uh, I had to. Not, not I have to. I have to practice my English. Okay. But were you forced to practice it? Yeah, no. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when you say I had to, it's something that you didn't want to do, but you did it. And you were forced to, like, man, I had yeah. to work on the weekend. You know, and sometimes you can't say no. Especially like when the president of the company, hey, I need a favor. You think you can work Saturday? Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes, Saturday, no problem. You know, an inside use. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, th there are some people you can't say no to. Some people say not. <laughs> I can say no to I my supervisor. <laughs> I can say no to my supervisor, but when it's like the president or, or the general manager, it's like, I can't say no. I mean, <laughs> I can, but there will be consequences. <laughs> you know, no. You have to, to bring the extra mile. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> You you have to go the extra. <laughs> Always to start with, with that. Yes, <laughs> the extra. Do you know the expression? The have you heard the expression? The whole nine yards. No. Yes. There's an expression that says, "Man, I went the whole nine yards." There's a nine nine yards. 
I, I recently learned that expression. I, I didn't know that. That that comes from a war. So when you were in when you were a soldier, the bullets they gave you nine yards of bullets. Mm -hmm. you, you know those are like the Rambo type. Yeah. So that that's how much they gave you nine uh, three yard nine yards. Nine. So like that's why people said I want the whole nine yards. Now it's an expression, come on, I went all the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, what, what other examples can you use, like something I had to do? Uh, I had to take the garbage out. Yeah, I had to take the garbage out. Mm -hmm. So when you say something like that, it's like you were forced to do it, you didn't want to do it, or you didn't enjoy doing it, but you did it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to study English before exam. I had to study English, yes. Uh, I had to take my, my son to get his injections. Oh, man, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So next we have, I didn't have to. Now, the difference here is I didn't have to, but I did it. So it was not an obligation. I I was not obligated, but I did it anyway. That's a yo-yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I go back to my, uh, the general manager, David, can you work on the weekend? Yes, sir. Of course I can. You know, and then I said, man, I had to work on the weekend. And then when you say I didn't have to, it's when you worked without somebody asking you. <laughs> you know, it's like when somebody says, um, well, you know, I didn't have to work, but I worked anyway. Can you give me an example of, of that, Rosa? I didn't have to. Sorry, teacher, I had to reset my, my computer it was without internet. I don't okay. know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, we're, we're here. We're, we're saying I didn't have to and the verb. When you say I didn't have to is when you did something, but you were not obligated to do. But okay. you did it. Okay. Um, an example using I didn't have to. Yes. I didn't have to wash the dishes, but I, I did it. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, Josue, can you give an example using I didn't have to? Yeah, I didn't have to, have to forget my, my tools in my job, but I did. Okay, but that's kind of tricky because forget is an accident. Because when you say I didn't have to forget, it's like were you planning to forget or mm. well, maybe left, right? Yes. Uh, I didn't have to leave my tools in my job. Okay. No, oh, okay, you can do that. What about you, Jordana? Okay. I didn't have to help them, but I did. All right, good. I, I didn't have to help them, but I did, good. I didn't have to vote, but I did. Yeah. Because here in, in El Salvador, well, in many countries, it's not an obligation to vote, right? I think in some countries it is. Okay, next is, I thought I needed to. I thought this was necessary. So this is when you did something or you didn't do something because you thought it was the best option. Or you thought it was necessary.
Who can give me an example? Have you ever bought something that you thought something like too much and because you thought it was necessary? I I thought I needed to buy um um how can I say it was not my idea was not to be expensive but the the computer system mm -hmm. I I wanted to be fast and to have a lot of storage and at the end uh, it and costing a lot so it was not okay. necessary to what i use but okay, so so you can say i thought i needed all those features okay so i thought i needed i need i needed to have all those features features yes and when you realize you don't you didn't no yeah, I, I think, I th yeah, that's good. That always happens. I think in a computer, in a basic user, all you need is good RAM and a good, um, good um, what do you call it? Uh, operating system, that's it. Now, if you're an engineer, if you study architecture and all that, it's a different, that's right. a different game. You need to have a good video card and all that, okay? Well, you know, with the pandemic and the panic shopping, many people exaggerated buying toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. they thought they needed. Yes, I don't know why many. I don't know why many. Yes. And why they buy that? What about so, the face mask? You remember when the face mask? Oh. Oh yeah. We're like fifty bucks. Box yeah. was fifty dollars, and now it's just three dollars two fifty or so. It's true. Yeah, it's true. The beer, remember, like for three weekends. <laughs> yeah, I remember there was one month that there was no beer, and people were like in panic. Oh my God, there's no beer in any store. <laughs> I remember. Right, so, yeah, many people were buying. A lot of beer. Did, admit it. Did you buy anything with panic attack? <laughs> yes. I, I did. The first time I had to go out with my Dewey, I, I exaggerated buying too many things. But like food. I bought a lot of meat and chicken. But a lot. Like, I think I was eating... Because after that, I said, oh, I think I exaggerated. I think I was eating meat for lunch and chicken for dinner and vice versa. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of panic attack. Did you, did you buy anything that you thought was necessary? No, everything was normal. Uh, same as you, things uh, that we need, like food, okay, or toilet paper, or you said last time, bleach. Oh, bleach, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or hand oh, sanitizer. I, did this happen to you at the beginning? My wife, with the spray, she used to use a lot of bleach. Okay. <clears throat> so, um. You know, to disinfect things. And then all my all my shirts got stained. Like a lot of clothes. You know, I said, okay, we need to change the bleach for alcohol. So I remember that. This is mine. Okay, so do you understand how, how to use this? I should have. I was supposed to. I had to. I didn't have to. Okay. Yes. So yes. one thing important here, uh, if you notice, you don't have to give the explanation. Uh, do you have to use always I thought with the needle too? With what? I'm sorry? You always have to use the needle too with the I thought. I thought I needed to 
do, do, or do you uh, can use it with another word? Oh, you know, you can use it with another word. Or you can just say I needed to. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, I went to the store because I needed to have a conversation. Uh, I, I, I went back to the supermarket because I needed to check mm -hmm. the receipt. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, why uh, only only use I uh, and no you or he or oh, she? Oh no 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 no. That's a good question. You can use any any pronoun. Ah okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, like you can say he didn't have to. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have um, stayed. I think. That is not polite. <laughs> yes. It's like, you know, I feel very sorry for Donald Trump because um, I feel bad for him because I think he was the most hated person in the world at one point, maybe. And I think the man is a billionaire. He shouldn't have to be in politics. Just live your life. But... It, he decided to go into politics and it was, it didn't go good. Yeah, poor man. Okay, so we have that. I studied. It was a good idea, but I didn't do it. I was supposed to be, we're forced to do this. I think there's models and phrasal models. Should have is followed by a past participle. Whereas was, were, supposed to, had to, didn't have to. Okay, look, so that this is very important. Uh, should have goes with a model. Or I'm sorry, with a past participle. Do you know what the past participle is? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, what is the past participle of go? Gone. 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 Oh, Went is a simple past. So the past participle of go is gone. Yeah. So like like Gio, we we're talking, man, uh, Marduk came, you should have gone. It was a good concert. Yeah. You should have gone. Hey, uh, I went I went to to the beach and I ate chicken. What man, you should have eaten fish <laughs> in the beach. So you should have eaten. So every time you say you should have is a past participle. Yes, and ironically, ironically, this is the same, the same rule in Spanish. Hubieras ido, hubieras comido, hubieras andado, hubieras visto. Okay. I have a friend. Uh, well, he's a, he's my cousin, and um, he got married, and he did something very stupid because, on his honeymoon, he decides to go to Venezuela, uh, to Colombia, to the beach. <laughs> so I remember he told me, "Man, David, you should have seen all the women were naked." And like, it was impossible not to see them. Like, oh my God, why am I here? <laughs> like, I remember that you should have seen. Yeah, he told me that it was a bad experience because imagine his honeymoon with his wife and then you're with your wife and suddenly this woman, 90% naked walks in front of you. Okay, you ignore, but then you ignore that one. You, ignore, you it, it, He told me there's a point that you can't ignore anymore. So... <laughs> Like two days later, they started fighting with his wife. And I told him, Why, wow, you're stupid. You should have gone to El Mahawal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why, why go to Colombia on your honeymoon? Or, or you might as well go to Rio de Janeiro, man. <laughs> go to a normal place. Okay, so remember, every time you say should have, is followed by a as participle. Should have is followed by a past participle, whereas was, 
were supposed to, had to, didn't have to, I needed to, are followed by the simple form of the verb. So when you say I was supposed to, I had to, I didn't have to, and I needed to is the base form. Yes. For example, don't you hate it when you go to uh, like the supermarket? Um, and then when you're there, you say, what was I supposed to buy? You, you forgot because you didn't write down anything. And then, you know, you say, what was I supposed to buy? And then you start buying many things, but you know that inside there was like something specific and you never bought it. That always happens. Yeah. 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 So in that case, you don't you you say the verb in simple form. Do you know why? Because of to. Yeah, and if you notice, it says I was supposed to. Supposed is in past already. So you cannot have two pasts in one sentence. That's why you cannot say I was supposed to went. You have to say I was supposed to go. Okay. Do you have any questions right now? No. All right. Had to describe strong obligation in the past and suggest there was no choice. I have one thing here, don't get confused because I had to water. Water is a verb. Regar, okay. teacher. Yes. In English, you can pretty much make everything a verb. When you feel comfortable, you you know you can make any any anything a verb. For example. Hey, shut up or I'm going to Jackie Chan you. <laughs> Do you understand that? Hey, like, hey, shut up or I'm going to Van Damme you. <laughs> so I use Van Damme as a verb. It's not formal, of course, but it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, you will hear that a lot in movies, you know, like, hey, man, you better shut up or I'm going to Van Damme you. Well, and of course, you understand what that means, right? I'm going to do what Van Damme does. And the reason why I say that, for example, here, water. Water is a noun. But when you want to use it as a verb, you can. I'm going to water the plants. Had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. He was supposed to graduate last year. Should have suggest that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggest that the action was not advisable, but was done. Okay, so once again, after should have, you also use the verb in past participle. And he here, should have learned English before. Yeah, here's your example. Now that we're all adults, and now that um, we all need to study English, and we say, Matt, but the problem is time, because now we're married, and now we work, and now we have children. And then people say, oh, man. In high school, I did nothing. I just studied and, you know, people say, man, I should have studied English in high school. I should have studied English in, in the university. I should have studied on Saturdays. But, it, you know, it's, it's something like advisable, but if you notice, it's also past participle. I should have. Needed, did they need to suggest that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not? 
She needed to exercise. Didn't have to me. I'm sorry. So you understand that needed part, correct? Yeah. Correct. All right. Yeah. Means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Then compare your answers in class with a partner. Okay. So you didn't have to. This is what happens like um, when you are young and, and you go party, but you have to work the next day. And then suddenly it's like four in the morning and oh my God, it's four in the morning. What am I going to do? It's like, hey, you didn't have to come. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. You didn't, yeah. Don't, 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 don't be playing the victim. You didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to come. Yeah. You didn't have to. <laughs> yeah. In situations like that, that always happened to me. Okay, so let's see the next exercise. Okay, knowledge check. It says, I shouldn't have invited them. So what does that mean? I didn't invite them or I invited them? I invited them. I invited them. Yes, I invited them, but I shouldn't have. Yes. Can you give me a, a situation here when this happens? Uh, maybe you invite some friends to your house and they uh, brought their kids. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have invited them. Yes. Or in a wedding. When, mm -hmm. you're, when you have that one friend that he can't stop drinking. Have you ever have a friend that always makes like a ridiculous and you think about it like, I don't know if I should invite him. I don't know if I should have invited him. And then in the party, he's, oh man, he makes like this big show. And, and then you say, man, I shouldn't have invited him. Okay, they next. Bring it up. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah. Or they this. bring it up. Yeah, they scream a lot and, and this and that. Or when you invite somebody to eat and they don't like the food? Or the food or the service was terrible and you say, man, I shouldn't have. I, I, I always say that to myself a lot. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have not done that. I shouldn't have bought that. Okay, next it says, that was a secret. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. So what happened? You didn't tell anyone or you told someone? You told someone. You told someone. Very good. Next, it says, we didn't have to study for the test. So that means that we forgot to study or we were prepared for the test. We were prepared. Okay. We prepared. We were prepared for the yeah. test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens like, hey, did you study for the test? No. Yeah, I, I didn't need to study, man. You're offending me. Like, oh, excuse me. Next, it says, I know Jane didn't like my cooking, but she didn't need to be so rude about it. So what happened? Jane was rude to me or Jane wasn't rude to me? She was rude to him, to her. <laughs> Was yeah, rude. Jane, yeah was Jane was rude. It says, that, look, I know Jane didn't like my cooking, but she didn't need to be so rude about it. Yeah. All right, and we got them all.
Okay, now listen to this. In this section, it says participants will learn and practice using verbs that go with problems. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Verbs that go with problems. So let's hear it. I will give you a list of verbs that we may use when talking about problems. Try to find the synonyms for each. Recognizing problems. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve a problem. Look at the following picture. Type two sentences using any of the verbs previously given. Okay, so let's go back to the verbs. So we have aggravate. Who can give me an example with aggravate? Um, she often aggravates um, the problems with her bad tempered. Okay, can you can you repeat that, please? Yeah, she often aggravates the problem with her bad tempered. Good. Yes, aggregate uh, aggravate is to make things worse. Correct. to make things worse, to make things bigger. Correct? Yes. It's, it's similar in Spanish, agravar. I next we have, mm -hmm. next we have avoid. Who can give me an example using avoid? Me? I usually avoid arguing with my parents. Okay, very good. I usually avoid arguing with my parents. Okay, good. Cause? The cause yeah. of, yes? Teacher, it's correct to say uh, uh, they have they, no, they didn't have, oh, sorry, so, um, uh, it's, com it's, it's uh, similar to avoid, to do, uh, to do a cause for a problem, but I, 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 I But give me an example, you, the, the imagine, idea. imagine you're arguing with your, brother or with your son, with your partner, when you use costs, how do you use it? Causa? Yeah, okay, let me give you an example. Sometimes I buy toys that are not for my son's age. Like one time I bought him a skateboard. <laughs> and um, guess what happened? He had an accident. He fell. The, and guess, the, the and, man caused uh, an accident. Yes, and guess what my wife told me? That's your fault? You caused that. <laughs> yes. <You> she told <laughs> me. And yeah, you know, she was right. I did. I did cause that because I, I bought my son a skateboard. And, and I shouldn't have. He's too small for a skateboard. So and my wife, look at your son, and he was he had a like he scratched himself, like he, he looked like a I don't know like barbecue meat, and it was horrible, and he was crying and this and that, and I was in shock, like oh my god, and my wife just looks at me like, you caused that, you know? And I said yes, I know I did. So um, I I got the skateboard and I broke it. But that's how you say cause. Yes. 
um, in this moment, politics cause controversy. Talking uh, about uh, po politics. Causes an, an action. Yes. Causes. Something causes something. Like, for example, what causes you to get angry? Wait for lunch. <laughs> um, waiting, waiting for lunch causes you to get angry? Yeah. <laughs> angry, not hungry. <laughs> yes. um, a wow. messy room. <laughs> angry and hungry. <laughs> messy room causes me to get angry. Oh, okay. A good smell. Um, people honking causes me to get angry when, when I drive. Okay. And you know, maybe that the traffic light is in red, of course. And then suddenly, it, I mean, it, it turns green. And in less than a second, people are honking. Beep, 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 beep. It's like, <laughs> really, man? Wait. <laughs> okay, so then that's use cause. Deal with. Do you know that expression, deal with? Mm -hmm. Yes. My brother, deal with us, comes. I'm sorry? My brother, deal with guns. Your brother deals with guns? <laughs> no, he's <an> example. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, no, no, but um, here, be careful because it could have two meanings. Okay. Deal, because deal, the word deal is negociar. Yeah. But the expression okay. deal with it, uh, is afrontar. Uh, it, like, but also, but be careful of guns, because if it says, my, my, oh, my brother deals with guns. Or are you trying to say that, that he actually sells guns? <laughs> it was just an example. No, yeah, no, yeah, but for example, uh, let me give you an example. Deal with. It's like, you know, when you get angry with someone, don't worry, man, it's my problem. I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. I will deal with it. I remember when I was little and they called my mom to school. Your son did this, did this, did this. And I remember my mom just, she only like looked at me like, I will deal with you in the house. And I knew what that mean. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever dealt with a terrible customer? All the time. Oh yeah, okay. Yes. Who, who is in sales here or something? That you have to deal with customers. Carla, oh no, but you work in the in the bank, but you don't deal with customers, do you? Thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so, no, internal so, department. Yeah, okay. In this case, Carla doesn't deal with with customers. Good for her. Okay. Um, so do you understand that expression deal with then, right? Yeah. But deal with is a is a like a risk or or what? Deal with is when you you confront that situation. Mm. When you but, confront uh, the situation. Okay, let me give you an, a stupid example, okay? When you are 17, 18, and you get your girlfriend pregnant, yeah. and then your girlfriend tells you, oh no, we have to deal with my father now. And you know, you say, hey, don't worry, talk to your father and, and then I will support you. <laughs> no, you have to, you have to go deal with that problem because it's the two of you. So, you know, it's deal with is confront the situation. 
confront the problem. That's why that's why people say, oh man, I hate my job. Why? Because I have to deal with people, crazy people every day. Okay. Um, when my son was born, he was born in um, Maternidad Hospital. And oh man, I felt sorry for the security guards. The security guards of a hospital, my respects for those people because they have to deal with very, very stupid, ignorant people every day, every day, and the doctors and the staff of the hospital because I remember that my wife, she was in the hospital for, for a week. And the problem is that the visiting hours is... I think it was at one or 12. But in a perfect world, you make a line, you know, like, okay, next, come in. Okay, next, come in. But no, the majority of people there, they have food inside, you know, like the mothers. What is this? El caldo de res. What is this? Es, es ruda porque bueno para no sé qué. And then the security guards, every day I saw that they... No, no, you can't. If your daughter is in there, it's because she's in a strict diet. She, you know, you can't give her food, only what the doctor recommended. No, pero es bueno para no sé qué. Oh, man. <laughs> and you know, you're like, oh, God. Really, I, I really respect the patience of, of, of the securities there. And they have to deal with even the doctors because. You know, uh, when I was sitting with my wife in, in in the bed, the doctors walk around and the nurses, they really look that you're not giving them food. And I remember, señora, no le esté dando comida. You know, they give them medicine. Eh, I don't know, una señora se van donde un curandero que les manda semilla de no sé qué, que bueno para qué. And then they give them to the patient. And I remember one time one doctor told her, if your daughter dies, it's our problem and it's your problem, <laughs> you know? So I went there like for a week and I, I felt sorry for that security guard. Every day he has to check all those people and, every, and he really has to check everything. And you know, the women, ah, oh, you, you son of a, poor people. That's, that's a job I would not like at all. So imagine, that's deal with. So I imagine that person every time when he finishes, he says, oh man, I have to deal with people every day. Or imagine doctors in, in a seguro, man, they have to deal with, with sick people every day for every reason. Okay, so you understand that that, that expression, well, deal with. Spanish is, is aguantar in Spanish. <laughs> exactly, aguantar. Tengo que aguantar, yes, I have to deal with. O tengo que soportar, tolerar. Yes, run into. You know what expression run into is? Like in crate. In something? No, it, you know, actually, I'll be honest, run into is the typical in Spanish. Hey, una con quien me tope hoy. Mm. And the, the past of run is run. You know who I ran into? No, who? Remember Luis? Who's Luis? Oh, the mechanic. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. Que no se haya muerto. No, man, he's alive. So run into is when you... <laughs> It's something that was not planned, like, hey, what's up? How are you? You know, and of course, sometimes you can run into trouble. Yes. If you drink and drive, you're very likely you're going to run into trouble. Yes. If you go, if you go to... 
El Pepeto, Cantón El Pepeto at one in the morning. Well, I think at any time in the day, you could run into trouble. Yes? So run into is toparme con. Yes? Have you ever run into your ex-girlfriend and you're with your wife or your husband? That happens sometimes. Like, hey, you run into your ex, like, hi. Hi, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you run into your ex-teachers, you run into your high school friends, you run into your ex-boss, you run into that boss that fired you. Hey, last time I saw you, you fired me, I remember. Yeah, we were in the office, I remember. But now we're outside. <laughs> you know, Only with problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not in the office. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's run into. All right. So we'll we'll practice more of that tomorrow. All right. Don't run into trouble today or tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good, good night. Good night.